Not bad, guys. You're a lot stronger than you look. You know, we've never properly introduced ourselves. I'm Jessica. Jessica Albert. And who might you be? I'm Yangus, and this is the Gov. Yangus and the Gov, is it? Right. Thanks again for your help with the sea monster. Now, let's find Dormagus. I'm sure you need to get ready first, so let's head back to Port Prospect. I'll tell the captain to weigh anchor. Oh, I almost forgot. I called you two thieves back at the tower, and I never formally apologized, so... Forgive me! Anyway, I'll talk to the captain. All hands on deck! Why anchor and prepare to come about! We're heading back to Port Prospect! We took care of the sea monster, so I got them to agree to wait for us. I figured you'd like to rest and buy provisions before we set sail again. I'll be waiting for you here. Don't take too long now. We've got work to do. Actually, before we go, I have a favour to ask. You're after Dulmagus, just like I am, right? We're fighting for the same reasons. So I was thinking, why don't we do this together? I haven't been studying magic for long, but I still have a lot to offer. What do you say? I've got a great feeling about this. Thanks, guys. Now that that's taken care of, let's go. Just where do you think you're going without me and my beautiful princess? All hands on deck! Way anchor! Prepare to set sail for Peregrine Key! Ah, there you are. So what are you two up to? Up to? Me and the Gav was just talking, that's all. Gav, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about that. You know, he doesn't exactly look like your governor. If anything, it looks the other way around. What's the story? Well, I'm glad you asked. The story of how me and the Gav fell in together is an epic tale. Full of laughter, frills and tears. It is, is it? Well, why don't you just give me the highlights? All right, I will. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. I just decided to make a clean break of it. I was well act off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh life. I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treated me funny everywhere I went, like I was a thief or something. I didn't have no place to go, and not a penny to me name, neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. And that's when I run into the gov here. Hold it right there. Who gave you permission to use my bridge then, eh? 
Permission? Permission? Your bridge lies within my kingdom, you oaf. What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. I see your mouth is as vulgar as your face. Yes, I'm the king. And who exactly do you think you are? Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their knickers. That's right. You're talking to none other than Yangus, the legendary bandit himself. Yangus? The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. The one and only Yangus? What a shame there aren't more of you. Now kindly remove your one and only self from my bridge and clear off. Mm, don't push your luck, you green-faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way, eh? <laughs> now, my boy, now's our chance to cross. <sighs> Just my bleeding luck. What I call just desserts. As the saying goes, crime doesn't pay. Let us carry on then, my boy. There, there, my precious Medea. Did the bad man scare you? Him. Just leave him. It's poetic justice. Nay, divine justice. Thank you, Governor. I thought I was done for. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Yangus, was it? You can show your gratitude by getting out of our sight. <laughs> You're having a laugh. What? Still here? If you won't do us the favor of leaving, I'll be happy to provide some encouragement. Mister? No, no, Governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, Gov. Gov? What is this nonsense? Are you a complete imbecile? This boy is my retainer. If you're in anyone's service, it's mine. Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. Put, put a sock in it. Who do you think you're speaking to, you, you good-for-nothing scoundrel? So that's how you met. But what happened to all the laughter, thrills and tears? Well, I'm not finished yet. This is the best bit. I haven't told you about how the Gav helped me go straight. Whatever. You can tell me all about it later. Right now, I need some fresh air. I should have known a bird wouldn't get a story like ours, Gav. Still, no skin off my nose. 